Welcome back to a brand new episode of Northwoods Angling. I am Luke and today, super special trip. We are on Lake Superior, Isle Royale, full weekend, lake trout fishing for some jumbos. It's gonna be crazy out there. We'll see you on the water. Well, 20 miles later, we have finally arrived at Isle Royal. Let me tell you, it is beautiful out here. There's this hazy fog that's surrounding the island right now off the lake, and it is something, something to look at. It's awesome. Uh, we gotta go here um, to the headquarters of the island. There's a ranger station. We gotta uh, get some permits for camping and uh, get to do some other paperwork, itineraries. It's a lot of work to come out to this island, and after we leave here we just got to the island we have 40 more miles before we get to where we're actually going to camp so it's a 46 mile long island it's a big island and it's way out in lake superior so stay tuned guys we're going to see you in a little bit um probably when we get to camp and then we're going to go be doing some fishing and we're going to be chasing some jumbos stay tuned Yeah, that's a big yeah. lake trout. All right, welcome to Northwoods Angling. We just got out on this reef, and this big, giant lake trout just ham-boned my jig. Oh my gosh, it's a big fish. It is a big fish. It's a big one. One-handed net job by Garrett. Oh, yeah. Good 10 pounder. That's what I'm talking about. Start the trip. Second, first cast, you guys, we were just testing the waters. He got hit right next, hit, Kent got hit right next to the boat. I threw a cast, got smoked by a big fish, lost it at the boat, got the camera out, and this giant, you guys, I just second cast, instantly destroyed this jig. The quality of fish we're working with here. Isle Royale, first fish of the trip. It doesn't get any better than a 10 pound laker to start the trip. Let's get this girl back in the water. All right, there you roll. All right, what a hell of a start. Nice. That is what I'm talking about. I'm getting the other camera going. We're all gonna start catching fish because that was crazy. Let's do this, boys. As you guys can see, that thing hammered it and it is peeling drag. We're just casting. We're, we now moved a little bit towards the top of the reef. Oh, there he is. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Great fish. Yeah. Straight up the jig. Oh my gosh. These fish are insane. There no, no joke. I got my brand new pen. Oh, that's a big fish. Oh. That's what I'm talking about, baby. <laughs> Holy smokes. The There's nothing like, big. we didn't expect this. We got to the camps that came out fishing and we are just kind of trolling the top of this reef. And Kent, who's holding the camera says, dude, there's fish right below us. I cast it out. 
bam, he hooked up, I hooked up, I cast it again, hooked up again. This fish, it's a big fish. Here, I'll get it. Wait, I, I gotta show you guys this beast. Okay. At the size of these lake trout. Giant fish. This is probably a teener here. Yeah. Probably my second biggest lake trout ever. What a beautiful fish. We're gonna get this fish back in the water and we're gonna catch some more. We're gonna get bigger ones too. There she goes. Holy smokes. Jigging and casting for lake trout. That's what I'm talking about. All right, I gotta show you guys this trout Garrett just got. Got underwater footage of it, but we did not. Um, is that a butterfly? Oh yeah. It's a big butterfly. Look at those fans. Yeah. A 10 pound. Holy smokes. 10, 12. That's Hold that up a little it's higher. higher. 10 pounds. Yeah, that's yeah. bigger than 10 for sure. Look at the gut on that thing. Garrett just crushed this. I'll show you guys some underwater footage of this fish right here. Talk That's about coolest lake trout I've ever seen. That is so cool. Six oh, fish, fans. Garrett. I'm gonna get some pictures and we're gonna get this guy back. What a burner. Straight back. Straight to the bottom. To the bottom. Alright, Garrett just released his big butterfly. And I'm pretty down. sure he's got another big fish on. Another big one on. Another big giant. Nope, nope, Kent just there's doubled there's up. Double oh, up. just nailed it, Kent. Nailed it. God. Oh, yeah, that's a nice one. Is it? Yep. Maybe 20. That's close. Oh, geez, that's a big fish. That's one for sure. Oh, yeah. That's that, getting up to the high teens there. That 20. Yeah, that might be a 20. Royale. Jigging, vertical jigging, and that's what we're doing now. What a giant, giant leg truck. What a giant, giant fish. What a beauty. Look at the size difference. This is a brook truck, guys, so. <laughs> that's beautiful fish. What a beautiful fish. Right back in there. This cool? Hopefully we're gonna get one twice as big. Thank you, yeah. Can't oh, turn it off right now. Holy heavy fish. fish. Big fish alert. I need to be fishing this. I got a little a little bit of a glimpse at him. He's a big fish. That's what I'm talking about. You know, we've been looking for these big fish all weekend, now we? What a giant. Oh, I haven't even seen it yet. Look at it. It's right oh my god, that's really big. What an epic fish. Holy shit. Is this gonna be a PB? Uh it's gonna be close. Holy smoke that's huge. Let me get out of the way and see if you holy smokes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Holy yeah, smokes. Yeah. Look at that fish. Big giant of a slob. Oh my gosh. 41 <laughs> by 26 inch giant. Oh my god. That, well. that is my PB. <laughs> Should we get her back? Well, Kent just released his 41 by 26 and uh, he's hooked up, up on another giant. Go figure, Fish North Minnesota just piling them in here. Well, after that whooping you gave me yesterday, I was due. 
Yeah, I'm just recording you guys catching fish today. It's good. <laughs> Feels pretty heavy again, huh? Yeah, it's not as big as the last one, but it's definitely a quality fish. There he is. Another probably five teener. That's twenty twenty. Oh, that's a real close to twenty pound fish, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. That's just his vertical jigging. What are you using for bait? Oh. Ooh, little swing paddle tail, huh? Yeah. I don't, and I, I don't even know who makes this bait. Um, one of my friends just gave me a, a couple of them in a Ziploc bag a couple years ago, and they always seem to catch fish. <laughs> Is that a big butterfly? Yes. Look at those fins. The butterfly. Yeah, look at that. That's a giant one. Wow. See that. Holy smokes, look at the color on this fish. Huge fins. Yep, and with these big lake trout like this, you want to make sure when you pick them up, you're always supporting them by yep. the belly. You see a lot of people holding these big lake trout just by the gill plate like that, and you always want to make sure you support them like that. All right. Hell yeah, hold that up with a camera here. There we go. What a sick fish. Now they're close to, that's close to 20 pound fish right there. Yeah, I'd say so. Upper oh, yeah. teens. Let's get her in. Right. You want pictures of it or no? No. <clears throat> they're releasing all oh, Look at how good they're going away. This cold water, it's awesome. You know what else is awesome? You crushing. <laughs> <laughs> and the fact that we probably caught 30 fish today at least and yeah. we haven't, we haven't Killed one. Right. All of them have released. It's awesome. I just freaking got the camera rolling. Double. Got that? Oh yeah, I got it. <laughs> Dublet. Looks like I'm the net camera guy right now. This is another five to That would be a great eater all day. This video on these ones. Hope I like to put the camera in the south fish. You're catching. Got us. Holy smokes! I finally got the lines in the fish. And this thing is ripping drag. I mean, it's, it's doing what it wants and there's nothing you can do about it. I think we found the big fish factory, Kent. <laughs> yeah, we're in the nursery earlier. Holy cow, this is ridiculous. It's doing what it wants. This might be my biggest open water, hopefully my biggest lake trout ever. And Garrett was right. He said, just uh, swing it out. And uh, I casted it out. I pitched it out probably like 30 yards, let it free fall. And then I, once I thought it was kind of getting close to the bottom, I, uh, I closed my bail and let it just pivot down. And when it hit, got to the bottom, I jigged it one time and this thing exploded on it. If you've never vertical jigged for, for lake trout, holy smokes. You know, I thought this we were gonna come out here and maybe get a steelhead king show, like, oh, Lake Superior, weird show that not everyone gets. But now it's turned into a uh, jigging for lake trout show. We've gotten fish in five feet of water, all the way up to, we got one in 200. 240. 240. 240. I can't tell how heavy this fish actually is. It's definitely gonna be my biggest fish of the trip. Well, let me tell you. And the fish all, out here in this area have just been much bigger than the average fish we've been catching. And I just can't believe how fun it is. You see it yet? No. Well, I thought you were now. a lot closer, but I guess he was holding you down this whole time. We're getting her in here. Yeah, no. They wear you out. There he is. Oh, that's a big one. Is it good? That's good. Yep. Good fish. Oh, 20 pounder. Oh yeah, that's a good, holy smokes. Definitely your holy PB, definitely smokes. your <laughs> <laughs> That might be another 40 inch. Holy smokes! I wanted to say the bad word, but I can't. <laughs> holy <laughs> that's big. <laughs> oh my god. Oh wow, god. That's, that's bigger than I thought it was. That could be 30 pounds again. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to show you guys this fish. Underneath, I got it. Look at the size of these giant lake trout. Talk about a sumo, talk about a show. Welcome to Northwoods Angling. We'll see you guys on the next episode.